Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miki Takahashi from Granite Labor Labs. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, I am going to give you the overview of SD Express, which is the latest technology for SD memory card, and to talk about its testing because we are authorized SD Association Test Lab. So first of all, let me introduce myself and the company Granite Liver Labs. I am EVP of Engineering at Granite Liver Labs. I have been working on PCI Express since Gen 1 and SD card from 2010. The quite involved in standard working group activities. About Granite Liver Labs, we provide a very unique test service which is not only certification test, but also debug system or IC level characterization. Also, we are a test solution provider to sell our own test hardware and software. Total eight labs around the world, about 200 employees are working around the clock all over the world. This is today's agenda. I have two major topics. One is SD Express overview. It covers technology background and the performance, such as SDA specification roadmap and uh, demand for SD Express card. And uh, the other topic is testing. Today's focus is electrical testing, which is major challenge in SD Express interface test. I will talk about SD Express test adapters, uh, which are unique part of the SD Express testing and the TX RX testing. Okay, let's start with the SD Express overview. This is specification roadmap. SD Association was formed in 2000, and uh, originally the interface was single ended and a sole synchronous interface. In 2011, UHS 2 was introduced, its differential serial interface. And it was upgraded to UHS-3, which is double data rate in 2016. In 2018, SD Express was launched. It uses PC Express Gen 3, and it's much faster interface than UHS-3. Then in 2020, we introduced SD Express using PC Express Gen 4 by two lanes. Next, I'm going to talk about SD card logos and the categories. When you go to retail store, you can find SD card easily, and there should be so many selections. But um, there are various kinds of the SD card in terms of capacity, memory, write speed, and the interface speed. You can find the best choice from the logos on SD card. The first logo is capacity logo. If you look for the larger capacity, you see or XC will be the one you like to get. Second, the logo is bus mark. You can find a bus mark next to capacity logo like a one, two, three, and an EX. The last logo is a video recording speed. For example, this is important for camera application if you record high resolution image or high definition video data, you need to choose right speed class according to the requirement of the host device. Um, for, for the performance in UHS 2 and uh, 3 generations, it was drastically bumped up compared to UHS 1 generation, which is the 104 megabyte per sec because high-speed serial interface was newly employed. The maximum performance in UHS-3 is 624 megabyte per sec, but in SD Express, it is reaching 3,940 megabyte per sec if PCIe Gen 4 by 2 is fully utilized. You can see how high SD Express performance is. This is what drives SD card to higher performance. Everyone uses a mobile phone, and a mobile device has to handle large data such as high-definition video data and high-resolution pictures. 
Also, small memory form factor is very important, not only for mobile device, but also automotive infotainment, drive cams, drones, and so on. To support such market demands, SD card has been evolving generation by generation. SD Express is PC Express and NVMe based technology. By leveraging those widely used technologies for storage device, we achieved high performance, which meets market demand for high capacity memory card. On top of that, technical building blocks are available already, such as APGA, circuit IPs, and standard ICs. Also regarding testing, likewise, test environment for PC Express and NVMe can be used for SD Express too. This saves a lot of R&D cost and provides better compatibility to existing system. This is kind of um, a summary slide for SD Express overview. Key message is that SD Express is available now and an ecosystem is ready too. If you are interested in SD Express, please feel free to contact the SD Association. This is contact information. Let's move on to testing. The first slide is SD Express test requirement. It's totally the same as PC Express compliance test. It includes electrical testing, configuration space testing, and the link transaction layer testing. Basically, these tests can be performed by PC Express test solutions which are available from TE vendors and the test tools which are provided by PCSA can be used as well. For electrical testing, SD Express host and the card will be tested like a PCI Express CAM interface by using SD Express test adapters. This is a unique part of the SD Express testing. So today, I'm going to focus on electrical testing in this presentation. This slide shows how test adapters um, look like. The adapter on the left hand side is card adapter. It has card slot and a card under test goes to this slot. Like you see, the card adapter is adding card like board and it has PCI Express edge finger. So this adapt is acting like SD Express to PCIe card edge adapter board. Why adapter on right hand side is hosted test adapter. One end of the adapter has SD Express card shape and it goes to host SD Express slot. The host adapter has SMP connectors so the adapter can be connected to test instrument through these connectors. Let me show you some more detail how the adapters are used in SD Express testing. Uh, for card test, it's um, a left hand side. The since card adapter is adding card adapter, the PCIC compliance base board is so called CBB is used like a picture shows. The card adapter goes to CBB's CAM slot. In this configuration, SD Express card can be tested as CAM device. For SD Express host, the host test adapter goes to SD Express host slot directory. The adapter has SMP connectors, so test instrument can access to host transmitter and receive us through the test um, adapters. Electrical test covers transmitter test, the TX test, and a receiver test, RX test. Let me start with TX test. This is TX test topology. The oscilloscope is an instrument that we use for TX test. In both the card and the host test cases, transmitter output is connected to the oscilloscope through the test adapter. The oscilloscope captures transmitter signal and analyze it along the PCI Express spec. PCI Express transmitter test consists of several test items. IMASK test, jet measurement, 
voltage parameter tests such as swing amplitude and the emphasis preset level test. TX signal quality test is done by post process using embedding compliance channel and equalized emulation. Complicated the post process is involved for TX test. However, the process um, uh, is done by test tool. Existing the PC Express test solutions support post process required by PC Express compliance test. Next, I am going to talk about receiver test. Receiver test also uses same test adapters and a PCI-6 compliance baseboard for car test. In Alex test, bit LLA tester is used, as the figure shows. So this is this concept for receiver circuit. The bird generates a signal to the input to the DUT, that's uh, yellow arrow. The steer signal means impaired signal with jitter and a small amplitude to check how bad signal can be received by the receiver circuit. And the received data is forwarded to a transmitter in DUT by loopback test mode. It's a lit arrow uh, in a DUT. And uh, the data is sent back to uh, uh, the bird. That, that is the blue line um, to the BERT uh, in, in the figure. So BERT knows that what data is sent to the DUT originally. So the BERT um, the compares uh, determining data with the data which is sent to the DUT. If they match, it means the receiver can receive the stress data. But if not, the receiver doesn't receive the data properly. The PC Express spec defines the tolerance for the impaired signal. The receiver needs to meet the spec in this test. The, this slide shows test steps in Alex test. In step number one, the stress signal is calibrated the precise tree along the spec. The calibration has to be done properly to avoid overstress or and a stress to the receiver. The step two is link training. Before stress signal is sent to the DUT, the link between DUT and the test instrument has to be established to perform the test. The once link training is done, the receiver is ready to receive the data. In step number three, finally, it's a step for the measurement the bird descends impaired signal to DUT along the spec and check if the receiver receives the stress data properly. The each step has to be done right and follow the PC Express test spec. Um, up to here, I have been talking about electrical test. Actually, electrical test is complicated and um, uh, even minor mistake causes a critical error in this result. ST Association plans to launch self-verification program. This program offers testing which is performed by SDA test lab for pre-selected SDA Express compliance test items. This program provides the opportunity where the vendor can make sure that their own test was done correctly by comparing with the reference test result, which is done by SDA test lab. Also, the list of vendors who passed this program is a part of the program. This list may be released to the public as an incentive for SDA members to take the test. Also, for SDA Express CART test, SDA CART test adapter allows you to test your CART as adding card. It means that you may bring it to PCI SIG workshop for the test, but this is for only SD Express card. SD Express host cannot be tested at the PCI Express SIG workshop. As I said earlier, Granite Diva Labs is SDA authorized test lab for SD Express. 
this is what we offer as a key member of the ecosystem that we provide the service covering PC Express and SD Express compliance test. And when you have a problem, we are here to help you find the root cause and walk around. In addition to that, that we are the solution provider too, we developed PC Express RX test automation software working on and lead to MP1900A BERT. Like I explained in the previous slide, RX test is really complicated and each step has to follow PC Express specification. Our solution automates all test steps along with the user-friendly uh, GUI and uh, take, it, take care up to test report generation. It will reduce engineer's workload and uh, save the time a lot. And we have eight labs and uh, sales offices around the world and cover key locations for R&D and manufacturing sites. Headquarters is in Santa Clara and we have uh, two locations in Taiwan and uh, another two locations in China as well. Also, we have a lab in India, Bangalore, and a uh, sales office in Germany. And um, uh, also, we have a lab in Japan, uh, Yokohama as well. So this is our contact information. And uh, please do not hesitate to contact us. Also, you can find more information about our service in our website too, the granitelabs.com. And uh, this is contact information for SD Association. If you have any question about SD Express or SD Card, please contact the SD Association. That's all for my presentation for today. Thank you so much for your time.